Hey guys, Mr. T here. This is another video. Um, this one is um, on measuring the spread of data and box plots, but for the graphics calculator. So I've done two videos manually on the iPad um, showing you how to find the um, spread of data manually and um, to do box plots just drawing them. But once again, it's much faster to find five number summary and draw box plots using your graphics calculator. And I suggest that you do that. Um, for a lot of your exercises, unless it asks for it manually. So the first thing, all statistics all involve a set of data. So before a measure of, I'll put the center, measure of spread can be found, the data set must be entered. So this is the same as before when you're finding the averages and stuff in the graphic calculator, you need to enter your data. So stat, edit. Uh, I'm gonna look at example 13 on page 269. I'm gonna enter that data so that we have um, uh, set to uh, go from and uh, confirm that we're right. Eight, two, three, nine, six, five, three, two, two, six, two, five, four, five, five, six. So there's 16 data values there. Now this is on page 269, example 13. <coughs> so I've entered my data. And now, how do you find the five number summary on the graphics calculator? You have to make sure you've entered your data, which we just did in list one. Press stat again. Um, now you go to the calculator tab, press one bar stats. Enter the list that we needed, which I put into L1, press enter. Um, now, um, this is a newer graphics calculator. This is a TR84 plus silver edition. If you've got your standard TI-84+, plus, you will have to do these extra steps. You don't have to do that because it's automatic on this one. So you'll see the list of statistics again, which had your mean, median, mode, everything like that. But here, what we're interested in is the five number summary. So min x is the minimum, two, um, which we can confirm from page 269. The minimum is two. The maximum, max x, is nine. <coughs> uh, median is five, which we can confirm. Q1 2.5 and Q3 upper quartiles uh, 6. So that the calculator has done that for us. Okay. Uh, next useful thing that you can do on the graphics calculator is to draw box plots. So we have <coughs> um, the data already entered. Um, so to draw a box plot of the data, you ensure you have your data set in a list which is already done. Now instead of um, just getting the statistics, oops, um, Press second and y equals to open the stat plot function. So second y equals. Now I'm going to quickly fix this so it looks like how it would be um, when you've just opened the graphics calculator. So I'm going to do that again. This is what your graphics calculator should look like. So right now you have uh, four or five different plots and they're all turned on to, turn to off. So you don't have the uh, graphics calculator trying to draw anything. So the way to draw your box plot is select the first plot, labeled one, or whichever you want, but I'd suggest that you start with the first, press enter. And then here, select on, right now it's off, select on and press enter. And then I'm gonna use the arrow buttons to select the type of plot. So this one that's flashing right now, that's obviously a scatter plot. This is a line, bar chart, this is a box plot with outliers. You can see the little dots there. We'll deal with that later in the outliers section. <coughs> this is a, um, the box plot. This is what we're going to use. And I'm not quite sure what this one is. It might be a stepwise graph. doesn't matter. We're not going to use that. So right now, select the box plot, standard box plot. Press enter. Make X list, the list containing your data set, which is list one. And frequency, leave it at one. That's all entered, ready to go. So now you press graph. And so um, I need to set this back to how it would look on yours. Um, your gra graphics calculator is probably normal set to zoom standard. The standard zoom function is like 10 by 10 um, up and down. So your box plot would look like that. And it's not really a great use of um, the space and the screen in your graphics calculator. So what you can do is to get the calculator to zoom into your statistics by pressing zoom. Scroll down to 9. Zoom stat. 
and then the calculator tries to automatically zoom into the box plot that you tried to draw. So this is a better use of it. <clears throat> so now you've gotten the calculator to draw your box plot for you. Um, you can see that this looks very similar to the box plot drawn on page 269 in pink. And why is this useful? Because if you press trace, um, you can find the major statistics, the five number summary straight off of this, okay? So you can use that to answer questions really quickly if you need to. So hopefully that helps you out with um, finding the five number summary in the graphics calculator and drawing box plots in the graphics calculator. And I will see you on the next video.